mathematics in previous videos we have started our chapter 3 the name of the chapter is addition up to 9 in this video we are going to see the next topic that is adding three numbers yes in previous video we have learned how to add two numbers yes vertically also now in this video we are going to see how to add three numbers yes so let us start so see here is the addition given 2 plus 4 plus 3 okay this addition is given here now we are going to see how to add these three numbers here yes. 2 plus 4 plus 3 what will be the answer okay now when we add three numbers what we have to do add the first numbers yes so which are these two numbers they are these two and four okay now we have to add these two numbers first so add these two numbers two and four so keep two in your yes two in your mind and four on your fingers and count forward two after two comes Three, four, five, and six. So, what is the answer? Yes, answer is six. So, write down six in this box. Now, we add, we added these two numbers, two and four. Now, this three is remain. So, we got the answer six. So, what will we do? We will add this remaining three in the obtain answer. Yes, the answer is six. Adding these two numbers, we got this answer. So we will add the uh, three in this answer six. Okay. Now, so three take it down. Very good. Now see. Now we have two numbers. The answer we get from adding two and four, the sum of two and four six, and the remaining number three. Now we are going to add these two numbers. So same procedure we are going to follow. Six in your mind and three on your finger. Count forward six. It is seven, eight, and nine. Yes. So what is the answer? We got the answer nine. Yes. So this answer you have to write here also. And how will you write it? Two plus four plus three equal to nine. Understand? While adding three numbers, what we did? We add first two digit and we add the next digit in the obtain answer, and then we got our answer. Sum of these three number is nine. Yes. Now we will see another example also. So student, this example we are going to see from here. For that you have to open textbook page number thirty-four. One exercise is given here. Yes, add the following. So we will add this first. The first example is one plus two plus. Three yes, one plus two plus three, and the answer we are going to write here in the empty box. Okay, now here are three digits given: one, two, and three. One plus two plus three. So how we are going to add it? Yes, we are going to add these two number first. Yes, first two number we are going to add. So let us add this one and two. Okay, we are going to write the answer. Plus sign. Okay, so one plus two. One in mind, two on fingers. Count after one, three, two, and 
take this three down. Yes. What we are going to do? The obtain answer three. We are going to add the another number in this answer. Okay. So write down three here. So add this two numbers. The answer we got and the remaining number we are going to add. So three plus three. First three keep in your mind and next three on your finger. So count after me. Four, five, six. So what is the answer of these three digits? Yes, addition it is six. So write down six here and here also. Now. How many we need? One plus two plus three equal to six. The sum of these three numbers is six. So, student, you understand how to add three numbers? Yes. Now, these three remaining example here: four plus two plus two, one plus two plus four, and the next one five plus three plus one. You have to solve it by yourself as a pH. Understand? Now we are going to see how to add vertically also. Yes, in previous video we saw how to add vertically two digits. Yes. Now here we are two numbers. Now here we are going to see how to add three numbers vertically. Okay. So let us see. Now I will take one example. Six 
So write down the answer here. Six plus zero, six. Yes. So the sum of these three numbers, one plus five plus zero, equal to six. You have to copy down the answer in your textbook. Now see the another example. You can write the answer here also. Six. Okay. Now see the another example.
But now we are going to see how to solve word problems. Okay. Word problem. So student, see the example here. Okay. What can you see? One leaf is there and on that leaf two frogs are sitting. See, two frogs sitting on a leaf. Now five more come to join them. Yes. First, how many frogs were there? Two. And five more come to join them. Now the question is asked, how many frogs are there now? How many frogs are there now? First only two were there and five came and joined them. When the word join all together, together comes, what action you will do there? Or what method? It is the addition. Okay. So, first now here in this word problem, we got two numbers that is that are 2 and 5. So we will see using this word problem how to get the addition or answer. Okay. So write down first how many frogs were there first? There were 2 frogs. How many frogs were there first? 2 frogs. Now we are joining them. Yes. 2, 5 more frogs join them. So give the addition symbol. It is plus sign. And how many from join them? They are 5. So second number is 5. So write down 5. Now 2 plus 5. Okay. So 2 in your mind. 5 on your finger. Count after 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So we got the answer. Seven. Yes. So you can say that total number of frogs total number of frogs equal to seven. Yes. Total number of frogs. In the word problem, we got two numbers, two frogs. So we wrote two here, five from join them. So we wrote the next number five in the next box. And then we add these two numbers and we got the total number of frogs. Okay, that is two plus five equal to seven. Now we will see another example also. One word is five. Six more come along. How many birds are there now? Yes. So first how many birds were flying in the sky? There is only one bird. So we got the number one here. So in the first line write down one. Now in this box you have to put a symbol that is addition. Yes. Because Six more came along. You have to put them together. Join them. When we put things together or join them. We use addition. So give the plus sign for the addition. Now how many birds more came there? Yes there are six. Six more came along. Come along. So you, we got the another number that is six. Now to get answer, how many words are there? Now what we are doing? We are adding these two numbers. We got these two numbers in our problem 1 and 6. So we are adding them. Okay. So 1 and 6. 1 in your mind, 6 on your finger. After 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So we got the answer. Seven. So you can say that total number of words, total number of words equal to seven. Equal to seven. Yes. In word problem, we came to know one word was there. Again, six more join there. 
So total number of words are seven. Understand? So you have to copy down this answer in your textbook. Now we will turn to our next example. Okay. See the next example. Two mice want to have fun. Three more friends join them. Again the word came join. When the word join together all together. Yes more came comes that time you will add the numbers. Now how many mice are there now? How many mice are there now? So we got here two numbers first. There were two mice and another number we more join them. Here we have to give the symbol of addition plus sign. Now add these two numbers to two plus three. Two in your mind, three on your finger. Count after two. Three, four and five. So there are five mice all together. Write the answer there. Total number of mice. Total number of mice. Equal to five. So understand how we solve the word problems? Yes. So in the word problem, the we take the numbers from the word problem two and three, put a addition sign at there, and then we got the sum of this word problem. Now, student, turn your textbook page. Yes. There is there are two more examples of word problem given here that you have to solve by yourself. This is your Pierre. In next video, we will saw the we will see the next topic that is addition combination. Till then, bye. Have a nice day.